Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hacking Maths. Today, we're going to look at how to use the PolySmelt2 app on the TI-84 Plus to solve a polynomial equation. So let's turn the calculator on and begin. Start by pressing the Apps button, and now scroll down until you find the PolySmelt2 app. You might have more apps than me, so keep going until you find it. Make sure it's highlighted, and then press Enter. A splash screen is displayed. Press any button to continue. On the main menu, you have six options. Option one is for the polynomial solver. Option two is for the simultaneous equation solver. Option three takes you back to the splash screen. Option four tells you what each of the variables mean for the polynomial solver. Option five tells you what each of the variables mean for the simultaneous equation solver. Option six exits the app. The first option is the one we want should already be highlighted, so press enter. We're going to solve the equation on the right, so let's have a look at it. 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. We need to have our equation set up in this format, otherwise it's not going to work. We look at our equation and see that x squared, that's the highest power that we have, so our order is 2. Make sure that the order we have selected 2. Then press enter. Scrolling down, we either can choose real roots, imaginary roots, or polar roots. We're expecting real roots, so have real selected. Answers can either be decimal or fraction. Scroll down and select decimal. We can have our solutions as normal numbers, scientific numbers, or in engineering numbers. I've never had use for scientific or engineering, so just leave it as normal. Scrolling to float, this tells us how many decimal places we should have in our answer. Float means that the calculator will return as many decimal places as it can. Zero will mean it'll have zero decimal places and we'll round the number. One to one decimal place, two to two decimal places, and so on. We aren't working with angles, so let's just leave it with degrees. On the bottom, you can see that we can return to the main menu by pressing Y equals. We can get a help menu by pressing trace, or we can continue to the next screen by pressing graph. So let's press graph. We're now presented with a screen where we can enter the coefficients of the equation. The coefficient is just the number in front of the x squared, the x, or the number on its own. As you can see, a2 is the number in front of the x squared. So we're going to press 3 and then press enter. The coefficient a1 is in front of the x, and so as that's 2, we're going to press 2 and press enter. a0, or a0, is the number on its own. We can see that's minus five. Now make sure you press the correct minus sign, this one down here, then press five. Now we've entered the coefficients, check that we have entered them correctly, and what we can then do is press graph. Now, as it's a quadratic, we would have expected two solutions, and as you can see, we have two solutions, x1, is minus 1.6 recurring, and x2 is equal to 1. If you wanted to edit the solutions so they were fractions, we can press the graph to toggle between fractions and decimals. So as you can see, x1 is now minus 5 thirds, or minus 1.6 recurring. We can go back by pressing mode, which is the window button, and actually change the setup of our polynomial finder. Pressing graph twice will take us back. We can change the coefficients by pressing zoom. And this means we can just quickly go in and change the coefficients if that's all we're interested in. Obviously, pressing graph takes us back to the solve. That's all we've got time for today. I hope this has been helpful. And I hopefully see you again on Hacking Maths.